Hi, day 24, post-op. Now, this morning, I got up feeling pretty miserable. I started sort of yesterday, uh, yesterday evening, getting a lot of muscle pain in the leg, starting from behind my knee, all the way back at the, up the back of my hamstring, through my glute and into my back. Um, if I didn't know better, it sort of felt like sciatic nerve pain, which is not something I've ever had before. And it just kept shooting and throbbing and shooting and throbbing. It was the thing that was keeping me up more than actually the knee. So I was, um, squashed myself in with Megan at Riding to Health for a massage. Uh, because I know that I have sent her sciatic nerve pain clients before and she has worked wonders with them and she has also worked wonders with me in the past too. So that was today's plan. Now we went into town and I went to my favourite coffee shop. I you know you visit zookeepers in Vicargo a little too much when the chef comes out of the kitchen and goes, hey, you're walking a lot better this week <laughs> with my one crutch because the last time I went in, I was on two crutches. So yes, uh, then uh, Mark needed to do some jobs. So he left me parked in the library. Now I usually sit in the, in the library, I, I quite like sitting in the library reading um, some of their quotes books and those, you know, inspirational, happy, happy quotes, those sorts of things. P perfectly happy doing that. Although I have been to the library for a wee while and they have re uh, done it up and what I did not know was they have moved the non-fiction upstairs I thought that's all right he said we'll be able to get upstairs and I said yeah yeah they've got an elevator um escalator sorry no they changed the escalator into stairs so this is what I was faced with So I, 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 I up the flight upstairs and thought, mm. she said, it's all right, we have an elevator, but I had to go down a slope or way down the back to find this elevator. I thought, ah, screw that. So when I came back, I came down the stairs because it was so much quicker with a rail and a crutch and one step at a time, not a problem. Then we head in for the massage. Now, I had one last week and I asked her to go light on me and I was still in quite a bit of pain and discomfort and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to lie on my front and last week we discovered that I could. So this week I went in armed with two pillows, one for my knees and one to help raise the bolster under my feet up a little bit. And that was the plan this week too. And here is how so we went. So I told her to focus on my back, glute and right leg and I asked her to stop sort of two thirds of the way down the hamstring, be gentle with the back of the knee, but otherwise everything as normal. Now, oh my gosh, did it hurt. And she only focused on that, that one leg. And yes, yeah, uh, what I confirmed, hamstrings and glutes, pretty tight. But I was um, feeling pretty flipping good a couple of hours afterwards, once the muscles had all set, settled down again, the knee had stopped complaining about the pummeling. Um, then I realized a couple of hours later that this is what I could do. Okay. Now I've got to say, give or take a couple of hours, it was pretty instant relief and the throbbing down the back of my leg has stopped for now. And I think you've got to admit my walking is pretty, pretty cool. Both legs almost the same. Once I've set off, off for one foot, I'm not very good at setting off from standing, but once I'm going, I think you've got to agree that's a heap better than the last time we tried it. So I was feeling really encouraged and booked another one for next week. So uh, I would highly recommend massage if you haven't had one and you are post knee replacement because it was amazing. Now I have asked her to avoid the actual knee joint and I've asked her to avoid all the areas of swelling because we're not doing lymphatic massage we're doing deep tissue massage but other than that the muscles that don't have any bruising and that aren't swollen she just trotted on as normal and it was fabulous so I would highly recommend that if you're in the same position as I'm in so all in all pretty good day and I'm feeling a lot more encouraged than I was before I've been trying to get in and out of chairs because that's what the physiotherapist has asked me to do I can get out of a, a tall chair without using my hands but not a low one I can get 
once I've got up off the seat, I can get up from there without using my hands. I'm not yanking myself up like I used to so much. There is some strength coming back in that leg. It's just a bit slower than I wish it was. However, today has been a pretty triumphant day and I'm feeling a lot better than I was this morning. So that's today's news. Oh, and this is Kiwi, my sacked cat nurse because she gets a bit fed up with looking after me. However, she still does come and say hi in the evenings, which I suppose I can't argue with. Have a lovely evening.